I'm boss lady. <laughs> Yeah. And you made sure we're in on that, right? Uh, yes, I did. All right. Go Hello, ahead. everyone. Hi. Welcome, welcome to another episode of Laura, Debbie and Laura's Crocheted Crafts. I tried to steal it. <laughs> Again. Again. Yes. Uh, it's been a while. We haven't been... What? It's been more than... How long? A month? More um, than a month. More than a month. Something like that. I, don't I think know. it was in March. March. Yeah, because March 13th was when I had to let Ladybug go. Right. So I was sad then. My little Ladybug, she was not well. Mm -hmm. And I took her to the vet, and the vet said that she was dying of kidney disease. Her kidneys were failing, so I had to let her go. And it was sad. It was really sad. Yes. And I'm not going to... Although, I know, I'm not going to cry about my jazzy, too. Yeah. And, and since then, we've lost our brother-in-law. Yes. On um, um, April 24th. Mm -hmm. He was only 45 years old. He was uh, our sister Julie's husband, Frankie. Um, you met Julie in uh, a video we did when we were at the campground. Yes. Uh, she's, our young, she's younger than us. It's, she's the baby of the family. Yeah. So we had a, we have a, a sister Terry, but she's gone. Um, she's older, and then it's our brother Daryl, and then me, and then Laura, and then Julie. Right. Um, so yeah, we she lost her husband Frankie, and that was all very sad. And yeah, because they have awful. They have four chi well, they have four children. Yeah, um, two of them are under the age of eighteen. Yeah, so needless to say, we haven't been too happy. No. You know, so we weren't worried about making videos or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, we you decided to go ahead and do one now. What? You know, I wanted to tell you, Karen's dog had more puppies. When? Um, they're seven weeks old now. And they are, are they full cute. chihuahua? Well, both, yeah, both of them were chihuahuas, her dogs that... So it was, it's, uh, what's it, what's it? Paco. Lulu and Paco. Lulu and Paco. <laughs> and there's this little one, it's a little boy. It's, she only had one boy, mm -hmm. and the other four girls. But the boy is cute as I don't know what. It's he's like, not like. No, he's, he's like Paco, right? No, none okay. of them are like Paco. Okay. I mean, Paco's deformed or something. <laughs> <laughs> but I think he's a little <laughs> crazy in the head there a little yeah. bit. But poor little thing, he's still cute. Yeah, he is. He's real. Well, actually, as he got older, he got uglier. But he is a oh, cute little feller. He's cute. He's, he is cute. I like him more than I like the mother, Lulu. I don't like her too much. Mm -hmm. But they, the okay. puppies are really cute. She had two that were black and white. Is that one of the males? The, oh. the female. The male is like a, a tan with a like touch of black going through it, like a burnt color. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I like black and white dogs. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, we'll talk about that All right, about we'll that talk later. about that later. Yeah. You Not first. you, me and her. Yeah, me and her. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I got a lot more. Why don't you do your stuff first? All right, first? I'll go first. Laura's been a little bit busy with her plastic canvas. Well, not really, but yeah. <laughs> I said well, a little bit busy. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. When, speaking of our brother-in-law's uh, death, we went to the funeral, and our niece Karen's friend, Laura, uh, had been wanting to talk to me about making her a cigarette case. Yes. And so she told me she wanted Redskins colors. So... There it is. <laughs> and I made a matching lighter cover. Mm -hmm. Now I didn't have this color, you know, burgundy red decoration so, or gold, so I just oh. left it alone and I put the, the burgundy color button on it. That is burgundy. What are you talking that's, about? That's the only thing. I'm talking about I didn't have decorations to match this. Oh! Color. I had bright red, you know, okay. stuff like that. And I didn't have anything gold. I had yellow, but okay. nothing gold. So I didn't have nothing to go with it to de actually decorate. So I just left it like it was and put the red button on there. Yeah, that's, that's nice, though. You know, I like that. So hopefully, you know, she saw it on Facebook. Hopefully she'll like it. And hello, whoever just showed up. 
Yeah, there's no way we can even read that. No. Laura, Laura's doing this live on Facebook also. Yes. She's on Facebook. I'm not. Well, I am, but just for our campground right. page. So I'm not, I don't do friends and stuff like that. And then I told you about my obsession with Outlander. <laughs> so I made Don't a wall. Get her started. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> so I made a wall decal. Hang, hang, or hanger. Decal. Well, I guess there'd be a decal or whatever, but. Well, decal stick. I'm gonna tell you what I did. I had put a little piece of uh, yarn in there to mm -hmm. like hang it up on the wall. Yeah. But then once I was done, I realized I made a mistake. So you had to I had it from the bottom. Oh. <laughs> I said, well, that ain't going to look good hanging upside down, so I just no. cut it off. So just hang it, or just hold it up so everybody can see. And it says Outlander. It says Outlander. And mm -hmm. I used the variegated colors because kilt, the tartan colors for the clan. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, well, it's that's Mackenzie a... clan. Yeah, okay. Well, that goes good then. Yep. And then I made this. I'm thinking about making a cigarette case or something with that. Just trying different, you know, with how it would look differently. Yeah. That's nice. I like the, the pink color. Yeah, the pink is nice and bright. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pink is our, our favorite color. She got me. No, I've always yes, liked pink. Yes, you did, Laura. Yeah, I've always liked pink. Book, bookmark. For those of you who read Outlander, you know, an actual book instead of one you wrote her. What did I say? Don't get you started. <laughs> <laughs> and I made a cut out of the next one that I'm going to, the next bookmark I'm going to do. I don't know if you can see, but it's, the corners are cut out. Yeah. And it's, it's bigger than the one you made. Are you going to make a different yes. design? Or? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. It's a lot bigger. And I'm going to do what Debbie suggested. And, um not put a backing on it, she said, because it, you know, makes it oh. too thick. Well, if you're just making it for yourself, you can do what you want. Well, that's true. Yeah. I might go ahead and do that. I don't know. I'll figure it mm -hmm. out. And then, I have this small phone. Until I get money, I'm going to get the bigger one. It's really cheap. And it's little. So when I go out in my car, you know, and I have it in my purse, it's hard to find it when it rings. And I'm like digging and digging as it's ringing and ringing. And sometimes I miss my phone call. So, I made me a, a little container, what was it, cell phone case, yeah, case, to put it in. I can hook it onto my purse, so I know where it always at, on the mm -hmm. strap, and then dangle it on the inside. Or I can hang it in my car, and then when the phone rings, voila, there it is. Yeah. And she doesn't, I mean, it, you know... You, you use that hands-free. Yes. Yes. So she's not driving and talking on the phone. No. no, that's she's not doing that. She's safe. So. Yes, I'm not, I'm not going to get my. I'm, I treasure my life and everybody else's a little bit more yeah. <laughs> than I do a phone call. Yeah. <clears throat> so that is all I have done. I'm gonna be working on more, but. I really haven't had time to, so I'll have more to do by the time we come back for the yeah for the next video. video. Well, hopefully, video. it won't take so long, but yeah. our schedules are different too, so yeah. kind of different. Well, different than what it was. We used to be carefree. Yeah. <laughs> now we're not. I got Sam to watch during the week, and I watched my boo boo bear. Yeah. And and mom <laughs> and my mother since she's had that you know had that incident and being in the hospital and everything so yeah <coughs> all right so my turn now yep your turn. all right well I did a plastic canvas project it's a, a sleeve for this jar and I know we're not very close but we couldn't do the camera any other way but this jar it had pepper peppercorn in it. And it's it's kind of cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and it, but the label I couldn't get the label off. I soaked it in hot water, and you know, maybe maybe I use uh, 
that goop stuff that you yeah, can Google spray. On. Yeah. You can, it's, I can either use Google on, Google on or maybe like brake clean or something. Mm -hmm. Something. Because, I mean, that, that glue is really, really strong on there. But until then, I just made a plastic canvas leave for it. You know, on Facebook or Instagram, it, this bottle looks smaller than what it is. Yeah, yeah, I was looking at that. I, was, oh. I thought it was one of them little teeny bottles. No, yeah, it's this one. <laughs> I have another one too that has uh, rock salt in it, or whatever you call it. Is it rock salt? Because um, it's not for the roads. Sea it's salt? Not. Sea. Is well, it sea salt? It's the salt you put in the grinder. Yeah. So, I have another one of those, but it's not done yet. It's not empty yet. Um, I have made, I don't know if you can see this, I made this for Sammy, and, uh, you know, different, cute, different decorations on each one, but, uh, I was thinking about moving her playpen into the family room, and then I was going to hang this up on the wall by her playpen, but I haven't done that yet, so I don't know, maybe I'll just put it on the wall. Right there, where her playpen is now. Another project I made for Sammy is this little, they call it lovies, a lovey. And you crochet the little teeny tiny blanket, and then you crochet a head and put a head on it. Now, I have not done the facial thing, facial, uh, Well, the the eyes and yeah, facial, facial expression. I don't know what. But yeah, I have to do the eyes and the mouth. I haven't done that yet because I'm scared to do it because I'm not very good at that. But are you talking about with yarn? Yes. Okay, to embroider embroider is that it. for them to um, chew on? Well, it's whatever she does. Yeah, what, she, what she likes. She likes this, and she goes like this with the loops. And, right. But yeah, I don't want her, that's why I don't have, because I have eyes that yeah. I could glue on or sew on, right. but I don't want to do that because she puts things in her mouth. Right, she's a chewer. Yeah, so I have to do the embroidery, but I'm scared to do it because I'm not very good at that. Well, you can do anything, so I'm, I'm, I'm sure you Not very you good, good at face things, no. so, yeah. Let's see what else. Um, now, as you may know, I have... An innovations knitting machine. I bought this from Finger Hut and it was like uh, 60 bucks and that was uh, I think shipping included and everything. But I have this and with that I made a little baby cocoon. Now you can also of course make hats but these are baby cocoons and what you do is you put the little baby in like a bag <laughs> right, you know, you put the... It swaddles them. Yeah, and then you hold the baby like that. Oh, baby. You know. <laughs> I've made three. I have this one. And, uh, this one. Now, this one is, uh, feels looser than this one. Maybe, maybe it was just the yarn or something, yeah. but... This is the yarn that I got from Michael's. It's a uh, Craft Smart, I think it's what it's called. And uh, that's nice. Yeah, I like them, but they're only for little babies. Like Sammy's way too big for this now, and Sam is like uh, she's six and a half months. But it's for little babies when you first have them. And then I have this one too. And this one, this is like it, they're really. Stretchy. <laughs> so you put your baby in there and the baby's all nice and comfy and those are for the guardian grandmas. Right. And uh she has little tags that she created. Oh yeah. Well no, I I uh, got them from um I don't remember. Joanne's no, Michael it's it's on the internet. They're cards, you buy cards. Darn if I don't remember the name. And you can put your own thing on the back? Yeah, yeah. You Re pick the picture out, and then you uh, put down what you want them to write, and, right. and they make the cards. I don't know if you can see it, but... It... Darn, 
word. I, I can't remember the name of the... And what's written on the back says, The Guardian Grandma's Just a Little Hug. And then it tells you to clean and soften, you machine wash, and dry with baby items. Yes. Because, you know, a lot of people don't know <laughs> that, yes, you can. I use acrylics. I do not go in for that high-end yarn. I can't afford it, for one thing. And for another thing, when you have a baby who spits up peas and poops, you need something that's machine washed and dryable. You don't need to have something that you got to hand wash and then hang up outside. And No, I don't go for that. Sorry. Not the 50s anymore. Uh, the, the, easier, the easier for care, the easy... Easier the easy, care? Yeah, that, that it is, the better. So yeah, machine wash, machine dry. I ain't hanging nothing on no lines. My grandma did that. And, she and her mother in the beginning too, which you and the older for uh, two, the other two. Yeah, but my point is, that's a long time ago. Uh -huh. We have dryers and washers now. <laughs> Don't need to do that stuff. Yeah. I think my kids be roaming around in a lot of dirty clothes and we have to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, I also made a blankie, and it's a small blankie like for a car seat, and um, it's just basic granny square, and I made it with holding two strands of, um, I think it's Pound of Love from yes. Karen. Oh, and it's colors. Yeah, it's pink, blue, and white, or yellow. aqua. Yeah. Oh, and cream. Yeah, not white. It's not yellow. Uh, yeah, cream. It looks kind of yellowish. But, you but know. yeah, so it's just a granny square blankie, and it's small, so you could put it like cover the baby in the car seat. So that's also for the guardian grandmas. And I think that's all I've made my projects. Oh, well, I show you my I, Vince made something for me. Vince is my husband. <laughs> yep. This is my other knitting machine. I'll show you that. This is her Jamie. No. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Vince made me a table for my knitting machines. And it's got a hole in it. So when you're working the machine, you, know, you put the machine up top here, and your little piece. And it'll oh, come yeah. down. Can you hold that? Okay. And then when you're working the piece, this piece will come down and come down and come down. And at first I thought that it was too short because it's like down here. I, yeah, they can't see. But it's down here and using it with this to make a baby cocoon, it's the perfect length or height because as soon as it the piece touches the ground, then I know it's long enough to make a baby cocoon because it goes down and then you know it's down to the ground I take it off and like this is double layered I put one end through how do you explain that I don't know because it starts out like a long and then I fold it into this piece and then we have a double layered cocoon so I don't I probably didn't explain that right but, but anyway. So yeah. <laughs> and what about that where you put the um, that container? Oh, the yarn. Yeah. Well, that's you know because it sits on the ground. Um, Erica gave me this container. It's plastic. It's it had a vanilla protein something drink, some kind of drink in there, and she gave it to me. So I just put the skein of yarn in it, and it sits on the ground, and then the the yarn comes right out like that when I'm working the the machine. But, yes. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> but I also have this little knitting machine. And this machine only costs, what is it, $20, $25. But it only makes a small, small tube. Yeah. And on my th thing, and also on here, for ladies who do like Outlander, you can make them uh, wrist oh, warmies yeah. Yeah. with this that. one. Yeah. But you know what, though? They clear wears. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they stretch pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, yeah, so this little machine, they're both cute. I like them.
like the wind is picking up outside. Of it. And I know it's crazy. Well, at least it's not raining. We've had rain for how long? Yeah, not, not on wood. wood. We don't need no more rain. Because it was nice and bright and beautiful yesterday until about three o'clock. But then it didn't rain too bad though. I mean it rained and then it left and then came back and rained and left again, so. You know, um, speaking of things going wrong, did you know that buoy day was supposed to be originally, or spring fling, yesterday, mm -hmm. and besides it said the 14th, but then they changed it to today. And I went up there and it's like, not like it normally is. Yeah. Like the road going through they usually cut off, mm -hmm. no one was down there. Oh. They're all across the bridge over by where the antique stores are. Yeah. Well, you know, it's it hasn't been that good for a long time mm -hmm. anyway, so. Um, okay. I have a friend on Instagram. Her name is Carmen. And her uh, name on Instagram is Needlecrafter02. And <coughs> she sent me a little prize. That's now, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a... Um, a, a pouch, a triangle pouch that I can hang up in my craft bag or wherever I wanted to put it. And it's got a little um, angel or fairy. Uh, yeah, fairy. A little fairy. fairy. It's a stitch marker. Progress keeper, I think is what it's called. She's got a pro uh, progress keeper hanging on there. And then inside. Where they at? Here they are. Is two stitch markers. We got one, and yeah, they're not gonna be able to see. I'm gonna walk up here. All right, I'll show you first. Got them probably too close, huh? What are they? They're stitch markers. Yeah, but are they in shapes of anything? Or? Oh well, this one is a little fish. Oh, that's pretty. Wait a minute, it goes this way. It's a little fish. And this one has a feather on it that won't sit still. Sorry, I might. I, don't, I can't feather. even tell what's happening there, but it's a feather. There, there you go. This one's with a feather, and this one has the fish on it. But that's for uh, you know marking my stitches when I'm crocheting. And I think that said Kelsey's on here. Hi, Kelsey. Hey, Kels. Kelsey's our great niece. Yep. So yeah, so that was my prize from Carmen. And we're getting to the end of my stuff. Yesterday I went to Tuesday morning before the grocery store, which I hate the grocery store. <sighs> and we don't do people like that. Because I don't like that either. They don't give either. you the sale prices there too, I noticed. Oh really? Yeah, I haven't done that in a while, so I don't know. But I bought, uh, from Tuesday morning, three hat kits. And it's from Lion Brand. Keppy is what it's called. It comes with its own crochet book. Yeah. Because you, uh, you get the instructions inside to crochet a hat. You get one skein of yarn, which is 104 yards. Hmm. You get a little plastic crochet hook and a big pom-pom. So yeah, I bought three of those. They were three ninety nine each. My favorite color. Yeah. So it says compare at nine dollars forty nine cents, and then their price was three ninety nine. So I don't know about the nine forty nine. I haven't seen them anywhere else, so I'm not sure. They just say that to, yeah, no. to make you buy because you think Probably. you're getting a deal. <laughs> Oh dang, I'm saving almost $6. That's right, let's buy three of them. <laughs> but yeah, I, I figured maybe I could make a little hat for Sam. That'd you be know, because I really don't wear hats. So either, Unless it's uh, really, really cold, I have to go out and like shovel my driveway. Yeah, but you know what else I thought? Maybe. And then, probably not enough though. Maybe I'll just make granny squares with each of there the yards. And Put it in the same blanket for a baby for the garden grandma. That's I a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then save the pom poms for something else. Yeah. And then make new hook crochet hooks with your Palomar clay. Uh, a Palomar clay. clay. But yeah, these don't work. These are plastic. Oh, they're plastic. Yeah, because right. I tried once uh, when I first started doing the handles, mm -hmm. 
and the plastic hook kind of like, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> that, yeah, that didn't work. Good. Yeah. So I guess that's it for me. I have no other projects. Nothing else? Nothing else. Right, let me get a drink of my coffee. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Yeah. Speaking of coffee, you know what Spencer did? What? You know my stickers are on the back of my car. I think you and Vince took off a couple of them. No, not me. <laughs> Vince well, took off the ones that were like broke up. And right. Everything. Well, you know the one that said, uh, give me coffee and nobody gets hurt, which I love that one. Karen and Donnie gave that to me. Yeah. Because they know how I am about my coffee. <clears throat> Even I have my grandbaby saying, knowing that coffee is serious business. Yeah, see, that's another thing you copy. What? Serious business. Who came up, who was saying serious business, and you copy me? Well, okay, because I was around you, but coffee is serious <laughs> business. Yes, it is, it is. You don't mess with my coffee. and that's my right. my, 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 my nephew and his wife, my niece knows that. Everybody does. Right, so the sticker they gave me has been on there for, what, four years, five years? And it started, like, fading from the top. But you could still say, see, give me coffee. Or, and nobody gets hurt. My son takes it off because it was fraying. No I told him he was about to get hurt. <laughs> you know, I thought of two other things I'm doing here. That's over here in my crochet spot. Okay, that. Okay. <clears throat> and my mood blanket. I it so you can show how far along you got. Yeah. Did you this create is... what was your sad color? Was it brown? Brown. Brown. Yeah. I put an F, oh, F, F button for Frankie. This is my mood blanket. Progress so far. I hope we'll start at the top here. Oh, another thing too. Um, see, I put a red button. January 1st. Now, January's birthstone is garnet. Mm -hmm. So I put the red button. And then like down here, February 1st is purple for amethyst. Oh, that's nice. So I can keep track. And then March? Yep. Uh, I think that's aquamarine, but that's close as I could get. April. Was April? No, that's ladybug. Oh, April. Oh, ladybug left, yeah. yeah. April and May. Yep. Oh. Huh. Yeah, so I've added those buttons. <coughs> I've also added um, a little red heart button and a little ladybug button. Because this is March 13th, the day I had to let my ladybug go. And... For Frankie, I have a F button, and I put that on there for Frankie. But, yeah, so this is a progress on it so far. Oh, it's looking really good. Thank you. I like how this is the solid colors. Yeah. But, you know, I was thinking, because I like variegated, too. I was thinking about starting another blanket with variegated right. squares. Because I have a whole mess of variegated yarns. But let me put this back. Okay, something. <laughs> now this I've started a couple of evenings ago. And it's a hair on me. It's gonna be a poncho. Now a lot of people don't like ponchos, but they're okay for me if I'm like roaming around the house or just go over mom, Lara's and mom's real quick or something. But yeah, it's a gray poncho. I'm using Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn. The color is light gray. <laughs> Couldn't have anything fancy there. Huh? <laughs> but it's in the shape of a hexagon. Instead of a granny square, it's a hexagon, so... Yeah. Nice. Thanks. So, yeah, so I'm working on that. And that's it. That definitely is it for me now. But I'm sure I'll probably remember something afterwards. Or so, yeah, that's it. Anything else? No, I think that's about it for... As far as I can... You know, mine's done and over with, so... Mm -hmm. I don't think I have anything else to. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's it for now. And we ended it just in time. Your husband's getting ready to come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, so that's it for now. So thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye, <laughs> Bye everybody.